The National Socialist League of the Reich for Physical Exercise German, Nationalsozialistischer Reichsbund für Liebesobungen, abbreviated NSRL, was the umbrella organization for sports and physical education in Nazi Germany. The NSRL was known as the German League of the Reich for Physical Exercise German, Deutscher Reichsbund für Liebesobungen, abbreviated DRL until 1938. The organization was expanded to Austria after that country's annexation by Nazi Germany. The NSRL was led by the Reichssportführer, who after 1934 was at the same time presiding over the German National Olympic Committee. The NSRL's leaders were Hans von Chammer und Austin 1933 Arno Breitmeier and Karl Ritter von Halt History Preliminary organizations, effects of the Nazi takeover The 1916 Summer Olympics had been awarded to Berlin, but were cancelled because of the duration of World War I the Deutscher Reichsoschuss für Olympische Spiel draw or Drafos, German Imperial Commission for Olympic Games, was the German Olympic sports organization at that time. In 1917 the German Imperial Commission for Olympic Games was renamed Deutscher Reichsoschuss für Liebesobungen draw, sometimes also DRL or, more rarely, DRAFL German Imperial Commission for Physical Exercise. The name change reflected Germany's protest against the fact that Germany and other central powers were being excluded from the Olympic family, which was dominated by the Entente powers. The Deutscher Reichsoschuss für Liebesobungen was led by Theodor Lewald and Karl Diem was its secretary general. Even though it saw itself as the pan-German umbrella organization for sports, it did not represent all types of sports and sports associations of Germany. A great number of sport clubs, especially those stemming from industrial workers' background, had not joined the draw. After the Enabling Act, which legally gave Hitler dictatorial control of Germany in March 1933, all sports organizations connected to the Social Democratic Party, the Communist Party, and even to the Church, were banned. This ban affected especially the sports clubs of industrial workers, most of which were called to split up on their own before the first semester of 1933 was over. The more conservative nationalistic and bourgeois clubs were allowed to subsist into the following year. On April 12, 1933 Theodor Lewald gave in to the Nazi authorities and resigned as leader of the German sports office after it was revealed his paternal grandmother was Jewish. The Nazi Minister of the Interior, Wilhelm Frick, interfered with the process of the election of a new sports leader, and the decision was made by a hurriedly instituted three-man commission. Thus, in April 1933, Hans von Chammer und Austin, a figure formerly unknown in German sports, was named Reichskommissar für Turnen und Sport Commissioner for Gymnastics and Sports of the Reich. Von Chammer, however, would keep his predecessor in a high position in the sports body, and years later he would appoint Theodor Lewald as president of the organizing committee of the Berlin Olympic Games. Hans von Chammer und Austin was a SA group leader and promoter of Nazism. In the name of Gleichschaltung he disbanded the Deutscher Reichsoschuss für Liebesobungen on May 5, 1933 officially on May 10. Von Chammer was then elevated to Reichssportführer on July 19 and the whole sports sphere in Germany was placed under his power. Sports and propaganda in Nazi Germany, the Aryan ideal The Deutscher Reichsbund für Liebesobungen was established on July 27, 1934, as the official sports governing body of Nazi Germany. It would quickly become a formidable system within the German nation. After the DRL's foundation all other German sport associations gradually lost their freedom and were co-opted into the DRL as mere units. Fischamter. Even the most prestigious ones, like the German Football Association DFB, lost their independence. Von Chammer's goal was to build a formidable Nazi sports body to which all German sports associations would be submitted. His vision was that physical exercise would improve the morale and productivity of German workers", 
As well as making sports a source of national pride for the Germans, sporting skills were made a criterion for school graduation as well as a necessary qualification for certain jobs and admission to universities. Among the controversial measures taken by the sports office of the Reich at the time, the staging of the massive Reich Sportfest event on Trinity Sunday was a decision that shocked devout Catholics. In 1935, journalist Guido von Mengden was named public relations officer of the Reich Sports Office. He became the personal advisor and consultant of the Reichsportführer in 1936. A committed Nazi, von Mengden became the chief editor of NS Sport, the official organ of the Reich Sports Office. Other DRL, NSRL publications included Dietwert, a sports magazine with excellent illustrations and Sport und Staat sports and State, a massive four-volume Nazi propaganda report on the organized sports activities in Nazi Germany. Sport und Staat was made by Arno Breitmeier and Hitler's personal photographer Heinrich Hoffmann. This lavishly illustrated work had many pictures and information about the various Nazi organizations, i.e. SA, NSKK, Bund Deutscher Mädel, Hitler Jugend, etc. Printed in 1934 by the publishing house of the German Sports Aid Funds, a branch of the DRL, only Volume 1 and 2 of a planned series of four volumes were published. The aims of the promotion of sports in Nazi Germany included hardening the spirit of every German as well as making German citizens feel that they were part of a wider national purpose. This was in line with the ideals of Friedrich Ludwig Jan, the father of physical exercises," who connected the stealing of one's own body to a healthy spirit and promoted the idea of a unified, strong Germany. A more controversial aim was the demonstration of Aryan physical superiority. Von Chammer's impressively staged events of sports pageantry not only enhanced the physical activity, but also the nationalism of Germans. Nordic aesthetic beauty and commitment to Germanic ideals of race went hand in hand during the Nazi era, and von Chammer und Austin implemented a policy of racial exclusion within sports. Athletes of Jewish origin were excluded from participation in relevant sporting events. Topic: 1936 Olympic Games, zenith of the Nazi sports office. In 1936 Hans von Chammer und Austin, as the head of the Deutscher Reichsbund für Liebesobungen, played a major role in the structure and coordination of the Summer Olympics in Berlin. The Olympic Games, the first in history to have live television coverage, provided an ideal setting to showcase the Nazi regime and what Hitler deemed to be his exploits. As Secretary General of the Organizing Committee of the Berlin Olympic Games, Karl Diem, the former Secretary of the Deutscher Reichsausschuss für Liebesbemühungen (DRA), the forerunner of the DRL (NSRL), became the chief organizer of the Berlin Olympic Games. Diem held high posts in the Reich's sports office even after the Olympics, being named leader of the Foreign Department of the National Socialist Sports Office in 1939 by the Reichsportführer. As such Karl Diem was responsible for the issues of German athletes in foreign countries, as well as for the international affairs of the NSRL, von Chammer trusted the organization of the Fourth Winter Olympics in Garmisch-Partenkirchen to Karl Ritter von Halt, whom he named president of the committee for the organization of the Winter Games. As a result of the prestige acquired in this event, Karl Ritter von Halt would be elected member of the Executive Committee of the International Olympic Committee in 1937, a post von Chammer craved but was not able to obtain. The German eagle with the swastika on the chest, worn as a badge by the athletes of the 1936 German Olympics team, became the official symbol of the Nazi sports body. The swastika on the eagle's chest displays the ideology of the DRL. Das Hackenkreuz Aber, Welches der Adler in Seinen Schwingen Tratt, Bekent, Aus Welcher Gessening. I'm DRL Gearbaitet Word. The verbal salutation, Heil Hitler, was introduced by von Chammer on December 12, 1936, as the official formal salutation by members of German sport organizations in the sport events that would be organized from that date onwards. The Nazi salute had already been introduced three years before by Joseph Klein. On March 17, 1937, all German athletes were called by Hans von Chammer und Austin to join the Hitler Youth. In 1937 two cricket Germanized into cricket by the DRL matches between a German team and a British team from Worcester took place in Berlin. Topic. 
Expansion of Germany, beginning of the decline Austria's annexation by Germany in March 1938 brought the budding Austrian Nationalliga to an early end. Numerous football teams were disbanded and some players fled the country. All Austrian sports associations were absorbed by the system of the DRL as Gau 17 section under Gaffecourt Hans Janisch. The Hitler salute was introduced as compulsory before and after every game. Finally, the operation of junior sports teams was handed over to the local Hitlerjugend units, despised by Nazis as unworthy of a true German. Professionalism in sports was outlawed by the DRL in May 1938. Felix Lindmann, the German Football Association DFB president, was one of the greatest campaigners for amateurism in sports in Nazi Germany. In 1940, the already powerless German Football Association was finally wound up, following the 1938 Munich Agreement and the liquidation of Czechoslovakia as a state. The ethnic Sudeten German football teams played in the Galiga Sudetenland. The NSRL formed two groups in 1939, which were raised to three in 1941. None of these teams were able to make it to the final stages of the German football champions. Czech clubs continued to play their own Bohemia – Moravia Championship a separate Galliga for the Czech teams of the territories occupied by Germany. Galliga Bomen und Maren, was formed by the NSRL in 1943. The last big sports event organized in its trademark grandiose style by the NSRL was the Deutsches Turn und Sportfest German Gym and Sports Celebration in Breslau now in July 1938. This highly nationalistic sports event commemorated the 125th anniversary of the German Wars of Liberation against Napoleon and the first award of the Iron Cross in the city of Breslau itself in 1813. On December 21, 1938, a decree was issued by Adolf Hitler changing the name of the Reich sports body to Nationalsozialistischer Reichsbund für Liebesobungen (NSRL), thereby elevating it to an organization served by the NSDAP. This name change meant that the NSRL would be placed under the Nazi Party. Its seat would be the Haus des Deutschen Sports, House of the German Sports, in the Reichssportfeld, sports field of the Reich, in Berlin. Twilight and end of the Nazi sports office World War II radically altered the role of the NSRL in Germany and the areas under its leadership. The military re-armament and dire war preparations would make the influence of physical exercises in Nazi German society wane in favor of militarism. The massive sports pageantry events in the large cities, carefully organized to arouse nationalistic fervor, were replaced by military parades of German warriors. Successful sportsmen found it increasingly difficult to compete with frontline war heroes in capturing the attention of the German public. Even though the NSRL continued playing a big role in sporting activities among the youth for a few years, the atmosphere had changed. Many Germans were subjected to conscription and left for the different fronts, so the NSRL concentrated in training and staging local or regional events for younger athletes. Already in 1940 monetary funds for organizing sporting venues, such as the prestigious Kiel Week sailing competition, were not forthcoming. Contributors felt emboldened to deny funds to the formerly influential branches of the Nazi sports office owing to the war-related shifting of priorities. During this time the NSRL sold lottery tickets as a source of self-financement. Von Chammer's influence and power within the NSDAP also began rapidly eroding despite having been a committed topmost Nazi leader. He would, however, never witness Germany's defeat and humiliation in the war, for he died from pneumonia in Berlin in March 1943. Arno Breitmeier, a fellow SA officer became the new Reichsportführer. As the war dragged on, a huge number of members of the many branches of the NSRL, among them youngsters in their early teens, had to go to fight to the fronts. Since players were not available, except in shoddily organized military sports events in scattered frontline locations, sports life in Germany came practically to a standstill. The last von Chammer und Austin Pokal football trophy was played in Vienna in 1943 and the following two years plunged the NSRL into irrelevance. The once mighty Nazi sports body had to give up its weight and its position of pride long before the war was lost. 
On May 31, 1945, after Nazi Germany's defeat in World War II, the American military government issued a special law outlawing the Nazi Party and all of its branches. Known as Law No. 5, this denazification decree disbanded the NS Reichsbahn für Liebesobungen along with all its facilities and departments. The disbandment of the NSRL meant that all the sports organizations of Germany had to be established anew during the post-war reconstruction of both West Germany and the DDR. Even after German reunification in 1990, there has never been such a powerful and all-encompassing sports organization in Germany as the DRL. NSRL was at its height. Topic: <laughs> Structure As a sports governing body seeking to control and integrate all sport activities in Germany, the DRL, NSRL provided a highly organized structure. This structuralization, whose nationalistic seriousness was often outright theatrical, was in line with the Nazi Party's goal of reminding Germans constantly that they were members of a large extended country. According to paragraph 2 of the DRL's statutes, the purpose of the League of the Reich for physical exercise is the training of the body and character of Germans grouped together in member organizations through planned physical exercises and care of the national conscience in the spirit of the national socialist state. Regarding method and purpose, and keeping aside the ideology, the well-ordered and solemn DRL, NSRL system proved itself efficient. The 1936 Summer Olympics, as well as other key events, provided ample opportunity to test the good organization that the sports body of the Reich was able to provide. The NSRL's obvious competence succeeded in instilling a spirit of unity and pride among the German sportsmen and women as well as their supporters. Moreover, even if not duly credited, many of the NSRL's systemic improvements in sports are still in use in today's sports organizations. By sport Besides the departments above, certain competences of the NSRL as a league were served by sports federations some of which still exist today. 1. The Summer Games include the following games known collectively as Turnspiel. In German, Schlagball, a German bat and ball sport, Fistball, Korball, closely related to Kaufball, Schluterball and ring tennis. By region The regional structure of the NSRL followed the Nazi Party model. Often two or more GAU were included in one region where it was expedient to do so. 1. Thuringia, Anhalt and the province of Saxony. 2. Schleswig-Holstein, Hamburg and Mecklenburg. 3. The Palatinate and from 1935 onwards, the Saar region. 4. Austria from 1938 onwards. Topic. Distribution of members By January 1, 1937 the Nationalsozialistischer Reichsbahn für Liebesobungen had 45,096 associations with 3,582,776 active members of which 517,992 were female and 3,064,784 male. On April 1, 1939 there were 44,622 associations with 3,668,206 active members of which 526,084 were female. The kind of sports practiced were the following Numbering according to departments and departmental federations. Events. <inaudible> 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 Championships in the individual types of sports were duly organized by the corresponding associations and federations. Among the events directly organized by the NS Reichsbahn für Liebesobungen the most important were The Fourth Deutsche Kampfspiel, July 2-3-2-9-1934, in Nürnberg Deutsches Turn und Sportfest, July 2-6-3-1-1938, in Breslau Topic. Trophy names 
The name of today's DFB Pokal, Deutscher Fußball Bund Pokal or German Football Federation Cup, first contested in the 1934–35 season, was known between 1935 and 1943 as Chammer Pokal after then, Reichsportführer, Sports Chief of the Reich Hans von Chammer und Austin. The Amateur Landerpokal DFB, first established in 1909, was known between 1935 and 1942 as Reichsbundpokal. See also 1936 Summer Olympics 1936 Winter Olympics Galliga Deutscher Olympischer Sportbund Hitler Youth Yacht Club von Deutschland The Death Match Notes and references Schlage Natch. Wissenserte Tatsachen aus Allen Gebieten. Bibliographisches Institut, Leipzig, 1st ed. 1938 German version reference Schlage Natch. Wissenserte Tatsachen aus Allen Gebieten. Bibliographisches Institut, Leipzig, 3d ed. 1941 German version reference Topic further reading Antisemitism at the 1936 Olympics Arno Breitmeier and Heinrich Hoffmann, Sport und Stadt. I'm Auftrage des Reichsportführers 2 Vols. Werner Gartner, Volk in Liebesobungen. Deutsches Turn und Sportfest, Breslau 1938. Commissioned by the Reichsportführer. Guido von Mengden, Umgang mit der Geschichte und mit Menschen, Verlag Bartels and Wernitz. Friedrich Mildner, Olympia 1936 und die Liebesobungen im Nationalsozialistischen Staat, Buckvertrieb der Olympiad, Berlin 1936 2 Vols. Paul Wolf, was ich bei den Olympischen Spielen SAH, Karl Specht Verlag, Berlin 1936. Karl Diem, Das Olympiadebusch, Leipzig. Heinrich Hoffmann, Die Olympischen Spiel 1936, 1936. Willy F. R. Konitzer, Olympia 1936, published by the Reichssportverlag, Berlin 1936. Konrad Seigial, HRSG, Deutscher Turner Bund. Sein Grundung, Frankfurt, Tübingen 1950. Dieter Steinhofer, Hans von Chammer und Austin, Reichsportführer im Dritten Reich, Berlin, München, Frankfurt A. M. 1973, ISBN 3-87039-945-7 ISBN 978-3870399450